Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a little code review of a project that a student is working on and I want to show you some of the things I would fix and then you're just getting to see how changes are made inside of GitHub. So I'm going to work entirely out of GitHub if possible and show you what it would look like to, to make changes along the way and just help them out. And what I'm going to have to do is since this is a private project under this user's account is I'm going to have to create a fork and that means I'm going to make a copy and bring it over into my account. So every Every time I make a change, I'm going to have to do what's called a pull request. So if you see right here, she has no pull request on this project, and if I was going to make a change, I'd have to request that a change be made, and she could at least see what I wanted to do. Whether she wants to merge it in is entirely up to her, and then I will uh, at least show her the button to click to, to merge that in. Since I don't really have rights to that project, I'll have to uh, have her do that merge. So what we'll uh, start off with is I want to fork off the project, and then we can put it in my account. And then from here, I'm able to make that pull request, make the changes, and at least show what I see right off the bat. So I'm not going to fix the entire project, but I'm going to make a few edits right off the bat. So uh, first thing I see is this about.com. Uh, she may catch this right off the bat, and you guys may see it too, but that needs to be about.html. And then that will be a HTML file that can be presented to a browser. So I need to be able to see this, of what it's going to look like live. And the fastest way I, th I can think of doing that is showing the master branch of this project, hitting save, and now I've got a public link that I can link to and view what's going on inside of this project named project. So um, let's jump back to this. So this is probably this link that I have to see the project is probably propagating right now and that means it's loading up inside of GitHub. It's going to take probably about four minutes for every change I make to be able to see it on the site. So I can go ahead and get started. Um, so the first thing I would do is change this to HTML. So I don't think I can change the file name here actually. So what I may have to do is create a new file and then upload that and exchange it for this file. So I would have to delete. So first thing I'm going to do is copy the contents of this file. Not really looking at what's here yet. And then going to move back, create a new file, and then add about.html. Paste in the content, and then I'm just going to hit save uh, adds about.html file going to process. So I just made a commit giving her context to the change I made. And then I'm not going to create a pull request yet, so I'm going to go ahead and move over to uh, the code again. And back to my fork. I don't know why it took me all the way over there. Um, let's move to repositories, project, and hopefully I can keep this up right here. So, uh, all right, so index.html, the next thing I saw was the HTML of the document started. All looks great, even an HTML5 reference here for doctype HTML perfect. And then I see the head tag open. And then the next thing is I see a few links, the meta uh, char set reference, it's great. And then also seeing the title of the page. The next thing I should see though is the head should close because I'm starting to see content on the page here as well. Um, I don't understand why there's an image maybe inside the H1. I guess I kind of get it if you wanted a logo to the left. Maybe that does make sense. Uh, as it was kind of odd. So I would move this H1 and UL list below and inside of body. So that's where all of the content should be showing it. So if you're not seeing links, uh, then this is probably why, because it's not viewable because it's not inside the body tag. So uh, I'm interested to see if it is showing. Yeah, so about us, home, what is it showing here? So I don't see that list again at all. So it looks like the content inside head is showing uh, remarkably so, and I don't see the image showing trying to just follow what's going on here. So it looks like some images might be missing. Uh, this one doesn't have an extension of .jpg. Uh, neither does this image or this image. So what if I just kind of jump in and let's see how things roll out. So I prefer to work in a text editor that can that is smart. And so using something like Sublime Text or Atom, if you're already in Cloud9, if you don't have access to download any of the editors that you may get into, um, then you might just edit right here in GitHub. But uh, you could use Cloud9 as an option to, to jump in and start editing that way. You could actually clone your repository into Cloud9 and edit and then push back right back up any changes to GitHub. So that's a fancy way. And I already have a video on that. I'll link it below. So let's go ahead and make some of these changes. I'm going to move the UL and H1 down. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to clean up some of this space. I'm going to fix the white space on some of this as well. So highlight, move over. Looks like it's going to be five. So I'm going to move it to two. So I want to do two spacings there. I'm going to bring it all the way to the left and then up one. I'm going to clean up any of the lines I don't need. So push this over, 
looks like there's a div class WP content. Looks like this may be wrapping quite a bit, so I'm going to push that all over. That's great. I don't know what the two buttons do. This may be something like a carousel, possibly, but this might need a, a JPEG reference. I'm not sure, uh, but at least I need to put in the navigation again uh, back in. So I'm going to push that over, trying to follow with what's going on here. So push that all over, and then I'll nudge in that li list underneath. So the h1 can bring that over as well and see a script open and close. I'm just trying to make sure everything looks good. I could push over the script. I'm going to clean up some of the lines. Okay, I've got a ul list, uh, basically unordered list, and it closes after one item. So I'm wondering if that needs to be something like a h2 uh, I'm going to leave it there because I'm not sure what's going on. And then I see an ordered list below it. So you don't need the numbers if you have an ordered list. And what this actually should look like is something like this. So let me do a ordered list, open and close of the ordered list. And then I need to do list items inside. So see if it'll finish it for me. Nope. So li, usually I don't have to type in all the brackets. And then what I would do is just... Uh, Maybe cut that and do a p tag. So much faster inside of another editor that's a little smarter than Google or uh, GitHub here. But this will work. So I don't need the numbers as much as I need the. So actually, let me copy this. I'm just going to put this in a few times. And then from here, if I take in just the phrasing, it's going to count for me because we already designated it as an ordered list. So I'm just going to put this in real quick. We can save it and view it. So let me finish this. All right, so these are now in. I can remove everything that's here. And let's see how this all turned out. So again, this may be some kind of heading. I just put it as a paragraph for now. I'm going to nudge this over. And I could probably put the JavaScript at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So you want your JavaScript to load last and right above that body tag. So let's see if I push all this over one. It should line up. Let's see how this looks. Mm, there. So we're going to push that over one. Okay, great. So now everything's lined up. I can remove some of these empty lines. I don't need a little bit of space is fine, but you don't need any extra space. Uh, than that. So uh, I'm trying to follow, okay, it looks like there's a space here and there's a list of images. Maybe this JavaScript works perfectly with being able to show the carousel. I'm just going to put in uh, moves, content. So this is my commit message. It's giving context to the change I made. I'm going to hit commit changes. And then I'm probably going to see again that I'm able to do a pull request. Hmm, I didn't do it that time. That's fine. So uh, let's see uh, anything else. So it looks like about was referencing the HTML tag as expected. So if we linked to one of these, that would work out fine. Let's go back and look at the directory. We've got readme, gallery, index. And it looks like she just intends to create this contact page, weave page, services page. Everything else looks good though. Let's see if this changed at all. Yeah, 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 so it looks like the ordered list is, is working great and the numbers are there automatically. So you don't have to add in the numbers if you have an ordered list with LIs inside. Also, this is now in a paragraph. I can confirm that by inspecting. And yep, it's in a paragraph tag. So that actually saved very quickly with GitHub. All right, uh, if I was to check one more thing, it might be this image, logo.png, which I didn't see. So it looks like the logo PNG needs to be added here. And you might rename these files just to be something a little more shorter but you'd have to do that outside of GitHub. Remember, GitHub is only the place that you host code. It's also a place that you're able to collaborate because it is in the cloud and that you're able to share code together because it's in a remote location. So it's not just on your computer, it's where other people can interact with. Exactly what I did with Destiny's project here. So I am ready to do a compare and pull request. Rename uh, about page and then made sample changes to index.html. And so I could show that a screenshot. I'm just going to do a screenshot here and show her what it looks like when I made the changes. And then I could take that. I've got a cool tool here for showing screenshots. I can pull this right into Imager. 
that image is going to get uploaded. And then I can go and do markdown for showing the image. Uh, I'm just going to reference that this is a desktop S screenshot. Pull request. And then now she gets a nice pretty screenshot of what it looked like for me when she gets to merge this in. Hope that helps. And if you guys have any more questions, let me know. Thanks. Uh, me, me, me.